What's up, Eagle Mark fans? I'm here with the all-new SRAM 52 tooth Eagle cassette. So this is the XX1 model. There is an XO and a GX model, and we'll show you the GX in action in just a minute with some trail footage showing how it shifts in both directions because that really is the focus of this group. But the cool thing is if you have the Access Eagle wireless shifting derailleurs, you're good to go to add this right away. You don't need to change anything else, throw this on there. So when they developed the Access derailleurs, this was designed from the ground up to work with a 52 tooth cassette. So they knew this was coming. For the mechanical derailleurs, you will have to get a new derailleur if you want it to work. The key difference is there's about two and a half millimeters more space from this point here where the upper pulley wheel turns to the pivot point where the whole pulley cage pivots on the derailleur. And that's just to let a little bit more room here so that that pulley can clear the extra two teeth. Okay, why do this? Are two more teeth really going to make that big a difference? Well, Shimano went to 51, so naturally SRAM had to go to 52. I'm kidding, of course, but SRAM says even some of their pro riders were saying they wanted a bigger bail-off gear. Let's face it, we don't spend much time riding in the largest cog, but when we need it, we really need it. We've all been there, trying to push that lever a little harder to make it go into an easier gear. Well, now it's easier. For a 10-tooth jump, both the GX Mechanical and XX1 access groups shifted from the 42 to the 52 very smoothly, even under power. You can watch it happen here in slow motion. And that's partly because the new GX derailleur gets some structural upgrades to help the cage handle the extra stresses. We also filmed it shifting off the 52 back down to the 42 in slow mo, just to see what it looked like. We'll explain more about cross compatibility and what happens if you use the original mechanical derailleurs with this new 52 tooth cassette in the full post on bikerumor.com. So be sure to check that out in the link in this video's description. So going forward, you will have the option of a 50 tooth or a 52 tooth cassette and derailleurs that will work with either. Our bet is you're gonna see most bikes, if not all bikes, spec with the 52 tooth compatible rear derailleurs because those are also compatible with the original 50 tooth Eagle cassettes. And the way you'll be able to tell is on the back of the cage, it'll say 500% or 520%. Obviously the 520 means it's compatible with a 52 tooth. So if you're buying one, just get that because then it's compatible with any of the cassettes that they make for the Eagle groups. Hey, thanks a ton for watching. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and share with a friend that might need just a little bit easier gear the next time you're on a big climb. Damn it. Cut me off.